Animals have been around for a very long time and they adapted to a partnership with people to nowadays we call pets. At the start of the coronavirus pandemic, 3.2 million households in the UK have got a pet. There are people that live on their own that don't want to feel isolated. Dogs are a very popular pet to have as they provide people with love and companionship. Here I talk to Amanda Looney about owning dogs. Did you always want to have a pet? Yeah, no. We always had pets when we were kids, but then as I got older and had kids, didn't really want them. And then when we, when our Millie was about five or six, she wanted a dog, so, and then I liked Shih Tzu, so then we went for the Shih Tzu. Did you have a routine with your pet? Sort of, did you? We have Toby as well, he's a shit so but he's Liam's. But now it's got to the point that they don't come downstairs till I come down. And then they'll have the breakfast, go out. Liam takes them for a walk, so they have that routine. But other than that, there's no other routine. They just please themselves. Do you think owning a pet is hard work? Yeah, it is at times. And what advice would you give people for owning a dog? I don't know. It is true what they say. They are a man's best friend. And they are good and calm. And, and plus they do help with mental health too. But what I found out, dogs are a handful to take care of, but with patience, training and a lot of love, dogs can become your best friends. With owning a pet, there are many health benefits that can increase opportunities to exercise, go outside and socialise. These benefits include decreased blood pressure, decreased cholesterol levels, decreased feelings of loneliness, increased opportunity for exercise and increased opportunities for socialisation. I talked to Sylvia Quinn, who owns a cat. How long have you had your cat for? Um, we got her as a kitten, a six week old kitten when she was in about 2011, so we got her nearly 10 years. Did you always want to have a pet? Yes, we've always had pets. And what is your best memory that your pet had done? Um, she got stuck on next door's garage roof and we had to move the garden table and put the wheelie bin on top of it so she could jump down. Do you have a routine with your pet? No, but she does. Cats are very independent animals that can that can take care of themselves, but cats still need their owners to love and to look after. I talked to Mark Quinn about not owning pets. Do you think owning a pet will be hard work? I think owning a pet is going to be a lot of time consuming um, because they do take a lot to look after and feed them and you got to give them the love and the understanding that they need. Um, yeah, so other than that, I wouldn't. I would have one, but I wouldn't at the moment. I found out that there are restrictions to owning pets, like you can't have them in flat, you can't bring pets to a supermarket. Pets are not cheap to look after, as you have to provide feed, toys, treatment, and more. Not many people choose not to have pets because of their jobs, and some people have long hours to work. But in the end, pets can provide their owners unconditional love. Pets can also teach responsibility to children or to yourself.